So 60 years, how do you think Mick Jagger still got it? What, how, how do you, you know, how do you explain it? I, I got to tell you, so I mean, the, the funny thing is whatever, wherever there is excellence, people want to know, how'd you do it? Yeah. Right now. How, what's the secret? Not only is Mick Jagger, and I think the songs that Keith Richards and, and Mick Jagger wrote together, if you go back and listen to the lyrics, it's just incredibly poignant and I, I'm just a huge Stones fan. So, but he works out like a maniac, right? And it's, it's that 10,000 hours thing. And it's that, hey, maybe I don't feel my best today, but I'm going to get up and do my routine and work out so that it, you know, at his age, which, you know, I mean, you can look at people at different ages chronologically that are, you know, maybe we're both at this age, but I'm a lot older than you are and vice versa. And he just, uh, I think it's the combination of raw talent and the ability. And he's, he's very smart, right? Like he's, understands how to have interaction with a crowd and hold them in the palm of his hand and be an entertainer. But then on top of that, the reason he can at this age run around stadiums and be just as energetic is he puts the work in. And that's one thing step that I think a lot of people miss sometimes where they want that magic trick. They want to know what's the shortcut. Most of the time, the answer is there's no shortcut. Yeah. Yeah. To work hard on the way there and work hard to stay on top <laughs> that's and, it <laughs> and and sometimes it's not even like work hard it's just like um it's like be a professional which that involves like in, in his case at his age with the amount of stuff you have to do on stage and the way he does it for two hours you have this is a, this is a professional athlete a professional athlete that has to do things that are probably designed for 20 year olds and 30 year olds has to do it at an older age, which means like, what do you have to do? Well, you have to probably, he probably has like a whole physical routine he has to do. Diet, but, the whole thing. And it's hard. Look, if you want to do great things, you probably have to do hard things yeah. to get there. I'm not going to make you pick, just to st stick on the stones for one more minute. Um, but what are some great Rolling Stones songs that were impactful to you, lyrically, musically, maybe something uh, you like playing, uh, like air guitar, oh, or um, sure. I don't know. This is <laughs> well, probably my favorites. I love Sympathy for the Devil. Yeah, uh, It's a very, I don't know, sort of Faustian. I, I love the lyrics. I love the how the almost a voodoo beat just kind of builds throughout the song. Um, that's that's always been one of my he favorites. Never, so in that song, he never mentions devil, does he? No, wait, sorry. Uh, uh, he, like you know my name. Yeah, there's a, there's like a flirtation going Correct. on in the in the lyrics. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's it's here's all the trouble I've caused yeah. along the way with you humans, and I I just think it's really really great. And musically builds really nicely. Yeah, it's and it's, it's like both fun and dark. It, it, it's it's cool. It's a. Uh, uh, it's, 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 there's a playful nature to it. That's uh, that, that's very stones. Like, the, the, only they can pull it off because it's like playful, but it's also like dark and dangerous, cool. dangerous, too. dangerous. Yeah, yeah. and word. and give me shelter. Give me shelter is just you know. And um, to this day, when I listen to the studio version, and Mary Clayton just comes on and sings that epic, iconic part, and uh, there's a documentary that was done about uh, backup singers, uh, phenomenal. And it tells the story of uh, that moment in that song with Mary Clayton. And it's just uh, her voice and, and the way it unfolded, they got her out of bed at like 10 o'clock at night in LA. And she's like, the Rolling Stones? What? And went in and just killed it. And um, I can't sing at all. I'm by ordinance not allowed around a microphone. So I'm always in awe when someone can sing like that. Um, but, uh, you know, th those, are, those are some of my, uh, my favorite Rolling Stone songs and Paint It Black's awesome. I mean, I could go on. Yeah, yeah Paint It Black is great. Again, a song that builds is badass. I mean, it defines a whole generation.